Hey everybody, West Coast Johnny, how you doing? Today I'm building a big wall. Let me show you, follow me. Okay, so what we have here is a wall that is uh, nine feet tall, 32 feet long. Then it has a small section that pops out like that at an angle, see? Um, here's our new fence that I just finished. There's a video coming soon about it, it's pretty cool. So here's what today is about. I finally had uh, an electrician come. He ran some wire and it's, he tapped into some power I have had here by the pool. So what we're gonna do, comes in here, light switch for a sconce and another sconce down there. And then down here, we have power. And over here, we have another quad of power, which is a four, the four plugs. And each one of those has its own circuit. And the reason I did that is because I'm gonna have some really cool bands come and play in my yard. And I don't want there to not be an, enough for them to all plug in their amps and guitars, etc. So right now, I'm putting the Dura Rock up. It's half inch thick cement board and it's raised a little off the ground because I had to drill some drainage holes when I framed this. So these are 10, I think I had to buy 12 footers and I put them in approximately every three feet. I was post, 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 because we have a lot of boulders and I was also, I'm trying to make this, this wall very strong. That's why there's so many posts in it. The back side of this wall uh, has, I put sheet metal over all the joints after I installed all the plywood and I used Z-Bar, which is extremely important. Now I just want to paint this sheet metal. It's sheet metal and it's sealed. I just don't want any water ever, ever getting inside. This is, these are our spacers keep to keep the dura rock up off the ground you don't want it just sitting plus water has to be able to go when it goes this way it's going to go through these holes that i made but there has to be a little gap for it to get underneath okay we're going to put this piece up Here's what I wanted to show you. The reason I'm not putting this down on the end, because then this joint will be right here. And we don't want all the joints in the same spot. You want to stagger them like bricks. So this one is actually going to go right about here. And there's our perfect fit. Okay. Oh shoot, I just needed my drill. I need my drill. I can't let go of this. When you're putting the screws in, you want them at least every eight inches or smaller. So I'm just going like maybe six inches. That's called the schedule. And that's called, this is called the field. Here's your edges, but when you're in here, it's the field. So if you ever read, it says, you know, nail off your sheetrock eight inch out in the field every six inches on the edges. That's what that means. So uh, the wall is almost completely closed, but here's what I wanted to say. Remember how I was saying, you know, you got to stagger the joints like bricks so that no joints line up. That's true. Okay. Now, once this is closed, 
we're going to put around the edges and then on the top all the way down with the dura rock we're going to encapsulate this whole thing in dura rock so that we could uh, put our thin set mortar up with our stone so i'm going to be driving up to los angeles uh probably early next week monday or tuesday to pick out some stone because that's where the place is that we want to see it in person it's called it's like a rockery i believe called thompson they have a lot of really cool stuff but i just wanted to show you how it's coming along got a little left to go There it is. One thing that's good to do when where, where you know there's a stud, I know there's one here and here. Instead of just trying to eyeball it, just throw a level up. Put it in the center because if the stud is straight like it should be then as long as you hit this line it doesn't matter if you put in two screws or ten screws you're going to hit a stud so because sometimes you'll eyeball something it'll be off a little bit I, I do that all the time but i love to do this now 